Hello and welcome back. This is Braymar. We'll be playing more Conflict of Nations World War III. In this video, I wanted to do a quick rundown of different game modes that were available. In my previous game, I've been playing the Flashpoint game. This Flashpoint game includes Europe. Uh, the victory points that you need to reach with two people in your coalition, it's 1845. Uh, this game is almost complete and you've actually seen me play this game plenty of times in my previous videos. There are a couple of other game modes that Conflict of Nations is currently offering right now. If you go to New Games, you can see a huge list of special events that are going on. Uh, one of the most common games is Flashpoint and the basic World War III game. This special game mode is called Battleground America, which I'm going to be joining right now to show it off. And I'm already being invaded. Okay. So let's go ahead and set this up so Texas doesn't kill me. Uh, I also want to point out that it's really good to get into coalition almost immediately uh, because stuff like this will happen and you want to look big, bad, and terrible. Oh yeah, we are going to bring the hammer on this guy if we can. Uh, we'll leave those guys up here. So Battleground America is, of course, all of our great states. Uh, a little bit of Canada, but that's not important. And then some South America or Central America regions. Uh, these are awesome because, obviously, boats. Uh, owning this Caribbean and owning this side uh, is going to be very, very, very important. And obviously, once you get boats, then you go up California and attack BC, which I'm definitely planning on doing. I'm going to go ahead and try to join Florida because that's my home state. And in between us is Texas. Let's go, Texas. Bring it on. So other than that, we also have the Rising Tides game, which has a couple of advanced features. Uh, clearly, it has also the entire world, but the water has encroached on a lot of different areas. So a lot of naval battles also will be available for this. There are also complexes. There are actual complexes that have domes, uh, which give a little bit of benefits. And then there are these victory sites, which I think are very interesting. Kind of like victory sites, actually. Uh, they're just really, really, really good. Uh, places. I don't think you have to control them to win, but I think they will give you extra VP. Now, this game obviously has a much higher victory point threshold uh, because there is a large world that's available to you. One of the other game modes that's available to you is the Overkill. Overkill, again, has the entire world available to you, and these have the victory sites. These victory sites are worth huge amounts of victory points, uh, which you want to build up because your threshold in this game is extremely high. This game is for dedicated players because it's going to take a really long time to reach this victory point threshold. And the last game I wanted to look at was the Apocalypse game. Now the Apocalypse game seems to be a normal uh, world game. All the countries that are here are all in the normal uh, World War III game but you can have up to five people in your team. And again, this stretch point is actually much lower at a 5,920. So you should be able to reach this goal pretty quickly. There are many different games and many different special events available. If you have any questions about the special game modes or if you would like me to start one for an example, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, have a good one.